the human animal is made in such a way that you can't, uh, it's difficult for, for too long a period to just uh, uh, get satisfaction from what one has done. I think one needs more than that, at least I do. Lyman Spitzer was born in Toledo, Ohio in 1914, almost a half century before the first NASA launch. He has always had his eye on the stars and beyond. Many years ago, I was an avid science fiction enthusiast and read uh, uh, science fiction magazines and books and was uh, always interested in space travel and travel to other planets and things of that sort. I became fascinated with the thought of connecting cities in the world by underground tubes and sh shooting cars through in vacuo, accelerating them electromagnetically and then decelerating them by magnetic forces also. With this, one can show that one can get from New York to San Francisco in eight or nine minutes. And uh, I spent a lot of time planning such a system in great detail. I told my parents about it and they became very seriously worried. They made me promise I wouldn't think about those tubes again for, I think, a period of six months. They thought they came. I suppose a light came into my eyes when I talked about them. They thought I was going over. I was really getting a little batty. <laughs> Maybe they were right. Lyman Spitzer, in late adulthood, is still a person in process. He isn't ready to close the book on his life story. Not yet. The Hubble telescope, which Spitzer helped design, was recently launched by NASA. It will investigate galaxies as they were some 10 billion years ago. It may tell us about the origin of the universe. I'm sure it, the space telescope will not answer all of our questions it will raise more problems, but it will certainly get us closer to the goal of answering the big questions of how did the universe start? What is its fate? You can actually see a little something or other on the water after the circle spreads. My family life has been a source of enduring satisfaction. The luckiest thing I ever did was uh, when I got married. It was only after after our marriage that I discovered how, uh, how nice she really was. <laughs> the actual line Lyman and Doreen like Spitzer have been married for nearly 50 years. They've raised four children and shared a love of great music. Yes, yes. We wear well. We, we seem to do the, the right things for each other so that we don't get tired of each other. And if I may say something more about Lyman Spitzer, he has an infinite capacity for being interesting and, and, and different. We leap lightly across the brook and land heavily in the middle of it. <laughs> the Spitzers also share a love of nature and a passion for outdoor challenge. Lyman! Yes! On belay! Climbing! People are sometimes a little startled on cliffs when they find out how old I am. No one has ever uh, reproached me for being overly rash at my age. The bucket above. The bucket's really good. Up rope, please. Tension. There are some routes where there are uh, long periods of the cliff where you can't stop and rest. Once you've started, uh, you have to keep going because there's no place where you can uh, stop and just relax. Uh, you're sort of hanging on and you have to keep going up. Many routes, and even some quite difficult ones, are not of that character. So I see no reason why I can't go on climbing for some years yet. Okay, well... Super! Great climb, great climb. I believe that change is easier, obviously, when one is young than when one is old. But I don't think it's impossible by any means as one gets older and older. I've been thinking of ways in which I might perhaps change some aspect of my professional activity. Perhaps I should take a more active role in computing. My office at the moment is the only one in the astronomy building uh, that doesn't have a computer console on the desk. I let graduate students do the computing for me. But maybe it's time to change. Maybe I should uh, take time out and, and learn, uh, learn computing, and uh, I may do that. Uh, my children have been encouraging me to take up some musical instrument, uh, which I uh, am considering, 
and uh, may do. On the other hand, perhaps I won't, I don't know. What he does know is that the gift of healthy life has given him more time to search for understanding. Our chances of understanding the evolution of a human being in the same sense that we understand uh, the evolution of a star are really very uh, are far away. Life is so much more complicated than, than uh, the physical processes that astronomers study that uh, uh, I can well imagine that long after uh, we know all that we need to know about the universe, we may still be trying to understand uh, the nature of, nature of life. Mm -hmm.